Hello guys, Lou Hodge here, and today we are just basically um, fixing some of my um, car, my toy cars, and also some of my models like this one over here. This is a Peugeot Flosis Coupe, and because they haven't been used in a while, and when I was and when I used to still play with them quite a lot, things have damaged, have been broken. Also by sister and stuff by playing as being a nice brother to a nice sister, to a sister. Um, the Vol, this is a Volvo um, 90 or something one or the other and the roof bar is cracked um, here's a bit here we're going to fix that today uh, and also put um, the door cards, cards off because they fell off as both of them are as well so we're going to do that and also um, there's a problem with the Persia over there I'll zoom in over here so I don't have to move the camera all the time and we're done is right here um, and if you turn it around um, the mirror is missing well I have it but it snapped off so um, we need to repair that and also is when it, if I zoom back out if it's possible there we go we're also gonna work on this one here is the exact same car except it was a model to build this was a pre-built model that this is a built one, and sadly it, that's had a rough life because I had this when I was about nine years old and it has been played with a lot and and seems it was already quite broken already I've been trying to, f I've been getting stuff ready to put LEDs and stuff and making it a little fancy as you see here there's um, actually I don't know if I can but I'll just see if I, I can zoom in let's just put, zoom in you can see slightly here there are wires but I'll show you a better description on that in a, in a moment uh, I can't put the spec on there you go but as you can see though that's, this is dusty oh, I forgot I zoomed in this is very dusty look there's the dust on my finger and that's my dad calling me so I'm gonna get my things right also when I, bef when I got my tools I decided to move the tripod because first of all these cars are pretty damn du are slightly dusty so I've got some warm water in this little um, MS jam thing that I washed out and I've got some hot soapy water in also these are handy for uh, I used to put screws in um, oh good damn it um, I just use these put screws in let me just quickly put that in I guess that was quite scary then uh, I'm basically going to just use some of this with some toilet paper and wipe it down and just get it clean basically um, so um, we're just basically um, we're just I'm just gonna zoom in here onto the car sorry if this is a little bit different than most videos but uh, I don't feel like vlogging today or not so far anyway um, but I might have one later on but at the moment no it just doesn't feel that much like it doing it so um basically i'm going to do the the first things i wanted to sort of do to begin with that's that's now soaked up and now we're just going to basically wipe the car down with some soapy water so we're doing this because um, for the work we may doing, sometimes the glue can be a bit thick. Can be sometimes won't stick that well if the service ain't that clean. And even when we're not doing this, I'm deciding to do the entire car to prevent any dust getting to the glue. So we're just basically giving the top of the car where it's pretty much dusty and half the side of the roof to give it and to make sure we have a nice clean surface. So I'm just basically doing that. Be careful not get it inside the car and to the end on the bits that are hard to get to because you don't otherwise you'll be having a nightmare trying to get it back out again uh, and you just want to keep basically washing it until the area that you're doing if you're doing work on the entire car you want to give the entire car a good clean um, and if it's completely dusty like if it's been sitting for like two years and it's collected a hell of a lot of dust you just want to keep cleaning it the entire lot anyway t t if you want to get a good finish because it can it can save a lot of time if you have 
um, if it has been sitting for a while untouched or moved or dusted so yeah I'm basically just doing a quick full job because it just hasn't seems I just want to and it hasn't been cleaned or dust for a while so you just want to do that nice and quickly um, alright seems that's now done all you need to do is just make sure you put your lid on your on your tin with your hot water in or your warm water actually don't use hot water and then you just want to wipe it down um, a good idea is to, to get a wet towel and soak it down for it. but most of the time if you um, we're just going to wipe it off anyway um, I'll give it a rinse later after we're finished or oh, we're just going to do it now because otherwise the soap will make a mess and it catches the tissue so uh, we're just going to do that now I'm going to get some plain water in another one that I have here so luckily that actually has the mirror in and I was going to keep that in there but seems as we need some rinse water I'm going to get some rinse water so hold on a sec guys and I'll be right back right then guys I'm back I've just got some plain water non soapy and we're basically just going to wipe the car down now with plain water uh, you don't want to use any special sort of um, tissue pa paper just standard one just make sure it's not doesn't it's not fluffy or any of that crap and you'll be all good to go so just start dampening it dampen it give it a good right like that work your way around give it a good right fold it over you can dampen other pieces to, to avoid getting bits of tissue paper over it's good to make sure you change it if it's going to rip into teeny pieces you don't want to tamp it too much until for example it rips you just want to just basically go whack whack turn do the boot da 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 turn around da 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 just basically dump it and dump it and dump it wipe it clean it make sure it's okay And now that is okay, so all you need to do then is get your drying cloth and go like that. You want to try not to get um, bits of tissue paper like I am at the moment, disappointingly. But though, if you have a spare one though, just use the fluffy one. Or if you're getting bits on, it doesn't matter, you can use your portion um, cloth to get off. You just want to make sure the car though is completely dry. But try and not make a massive mess and you don't want to get too much if it's gonna if it's turning out real bad and you're getting loads of bits you want to stop and just get another one it can otherwise it's just going to be like having the wiping the car down if it was dusty to begin with with a thick layer of dust so if it's going to be like that it's not worth doing it it's not worth carrying on as you can see though sadly this has got quite a little bit on so but yeah, you're just going to work your way around basically, and then use this to polish it off. Use your blowing method with your mouth, and try not to spit on it like me. Sorry, car. You just want to go like this. Don't try and be, be delicate with it, but you just want to do a hand slow circle motion. And you just want to work your way around. You want to be careful though not to snap anything else off if you're doing a repair but it includes glue like in this case this and don't forget to put the lid on otherwise you split it over like me but luckily I didn't spill it over so it isn't exactly like me but yeah you just want to polish it off make sure you don't have any dust well at least not have dust like the dust you had before and you just basically want to blow on it without spitting on it just use your hand for the finished product if it turned out it's bad you just basically want to yeah uh, yeah this is just awfully dusty though the water method is a good idea but I recommend doing it in another environment so yeah I'm just going to carry on and show you until I can get to the part of gluing the mirror on since this car is sort of turning into a bad cleaning process so I'll be back in just a second 
Oh, oh, a little bit too far. Okay, then one hour later, we finally have a car with both mirrors. An hour later, it's dry. Num plates back on, dust free. And there's a little dust that I'm just removing. And now I'm not going to bother painting the wheels until a little bit later. We'll get, or oh, I may not just bother, but now we got that fixed, so that's good. The next up is just getting the Volvo's um, roof rack done. So, if I do a quick swap. Whoa! And we have a car swap. Right. Get a little bit closer if we possibly can. Alright, uh, all we're going to do now is I have this handy piece of blue tack lying around. It was actually in the boot of this thing, seems the boot actually opened. Um, there, we're just going to basically glue this into place, we'll have the blue tack holding it in the, air, in the area where we'll add the glue in just a moment, if it's possible. Right, oh are we still recording? Yes we are, sorry. I was like, are we still recording? Uh, it's just because of just slight moments in your head just literally goes. You just got to get lined up just right so there's bits for the glue to seep into. Sadly there is meant to be a needle on this but sadly that's actually missing because it had glue and it stopped it from working. So, all we need to do now is just add some glue. Like that. Okay, so there's some on that end. And now this end. I forgot to actually wash this, but luckily the bar isn't wet, so okay. Right, that that well now is both got the glue on both ends. So all we need to do is now wait. And then we can remove the blue tack and then of course it'll be hardened and we can then move probably move on with something else. Um I think that's actually it on oh no, I forgot. Door cards for inside the interior. Oh and you forgot to bring the hot glue gun. But first of all though, I do need to clean these glue. Um he's forgotten to bring the super glue in, or he hasn't got any, so but first of all though I need to clean off these doors from the original glue that's came off and all that so when that's drying I'm going to do that and I'll be with you back with you guys in just a second or so. An hour later all everything is dry including everything else so at the moment I think that's pretty much it for the Volvo's sake it was only a small job but no <clears throat> I've just remembered that's not just it now we just got to put on the door cards. How annoying door cards are. Come on, focus! Yeah, so this is the driver's door. We'll start for that. Uh, it seems that's the easiest because they actually still have the pins more like the um, the um, passenger's door, front door. It's the one of the studs are missing, so we'll do that one last. But we'll do the easy first. We'll glue that back into place. And then that will be pretty much the Volvo source, it seems like. There is a rattle inside, if I demonstrate. If I bring it under the car, there's something rattling in there. But it's not inside. It's actually inside the sachet or inside the plastic part where the wheels are. So, and oh my god, my repair may just broke. No, it didn't actually. Yes, we're okay. Uh, it's not that strong, but at least it's together and it looks half decent. So at the moment, that is the main thing. And I might have to get change of my batteries over, because I found out I only have 1% left of my batteries. So I'm going to start, I'll put the first door card on, and 
I'll be back with you in just a second after I put the door card, glue the door card back or at least tidy up because I think there's some previous glue still there. And then after that, after I've done, after I've changed the batteries or and after I've removed some of the glue, the previous glue off the door, we'll put some glue on the door card and we'll get that done with. So yeah, um, I'm going to stop here and I'll see you in the moment after I've changed the batteries and after I've scraped some of it off. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay then guys, um, uh, now it's just time to glue on these door cards. I've cleaned off at this door. The uh, passenger also sort of closes now. Uh, but so the bottom is, but I think I'll add some heat to that and I could probably bend it, but now it's, uh, as long as you hold it from the bottom it closes completely like new. Well, except it doesn't, but let's put the door card back on first, or this door card anyway. Seems this is the good one side. I'm just popping some glue in those holes. Uh, we want to be very quick of this, otherwise we'll never, otherwise, um, otherwise the doors, otherwise this door will never ever get back on. And we do want this door card to come, go back on, otherwise it's going to be completely bare. Okay. So, all we need to do now is just go deeper. Right. That's now on, so I'm just going to wash my hands, otherwise, my hand is going to be like model glue. So, hold on a sec, guys. If I could stop it with a hand that doesn't have glue on it. Right then guys, I'm back and my hands are freaking disgusting and they actually look like gluing lizards as you can see it's sun picking it up there as you see that is disgusting but luckily though that will pay off Right, so I'm basically going to stand here for a bit and then when this is properly gone off and completely um, flat solid gone, um, we'll, carry, we'll carry on with the next door. Actually, I might need a toilet paper, but yeah, uh, I'll clean all this mess up in just a bit, so yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Okay then, guys, the first time you see my face in the entire, in this entire video, and um, we finally got this done. The Peugeot 406 Coupe's finally got a mirror. It is actually done quite nicely. The other one is slightly upwards as well, so that's, that that is done. So, and the um, Volvo's finally got its um, roof bar done, as you can see. There you go. That's got that, and also the door cards are now glued, glued back on. It is um, that is very handy. So yeah, that door is good, and the other door is done. And the other door is done too, so that's handy. So and yeah, that's basically all I ha have to do today. Oh, I forgot we've gone about this old guy, this old thing right here. But I decided though, it is though going to take a bit of while, and I assume might need to do a bit of a paint job on it at some point. And I mean a, an actual spray a spray can job. Seems this here is it's it's practically gone. If you if the camera picks up so you can see little scratches in the paint, and it's just very scuffed up here. All oh, the rest of it's slightly okay, except 
that little bit just there. But apart from that though, um, that's practically that. Um, I know so the door slightly doesn't close, so I need to do something about that too. And there's the wheels somewhere there. Oh, there's one of them. I can see the rest of them there, but the camera, I don't think, picks it up. But yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to put it all back together for now, seems as is, seems I'm not planning to do a lot of it, and especially because I'm... soon, I'm going to... if I'm going to paint this for sure, I'm still thinking about it, and it's still completely dusty. Look at that. That was my first one, but it's completely bad. Oh, this is... My second one that's pretty built and absolutely like new but and they have got the same engines as well this is not being painted whatsoever this is the um v6 and this is my custom painted on in here it looks pretty cool actually um so yeah that's basically all i have have today if i um i'm deciding i'm probably going to put it back together for now so i'm going to do the rest of that video with my ipad in uh, in in fast forward modes um, instead of normal filming like this otherwise it will be further so I'll just do normal fast forward and yeah that's pretty much it for this video so yeah I'll see you after that bit is done so yeah see you in a bit bye Okay then guys, that was pretty much it, and just in case you see a different bit of quality, I'm using my iPad f for this to end this video. So yeah guys, that was pretty much it f for today. Um, so yeah guys, um, sorry for no vlog for today, you know, so I didn't feel like making one, and, and even if, even I haven't even begun one from the beginning of the day, you know, so there's not so much love for day left, so there's no point of making one. But yeah guys, that was pretty much it for, the, for today's video, so yeah. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.